welcome back to my channel. So this is 130 second scale B24 PB4 by one update number five. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to be altering the propellers that came with the kit. So on eBay, you can buy individual sprues from individual kits. So this is a sprue from a 130 second scale B17. And I'm going to be using the paddles from here and replacing them to the kit part, which is this propeller, which comes with pre-molded paddles, which are incorrect. So first, I'm just going to take three of them off of the sprue. I already have two off. This is the third one. And I'm just going to make sure that I get rid of the seam line because there is a seam on here. It's not visible very much right now, but it will definitely be visible by painting. So I just want to get rid of that so I don't have to worry about it later. Especially right here at the very bottom. So now that we have this sanded, we are going to cut off the paddles from the hub. So just cutting right at the bottom. So now we are left with this hub and there's little parts of the paddles left. So I'm just going to sand that off. All right, so now that we have the paddles off, you can see the difference between the kit part on the left and the B-17 part on the right. So obviously the B-17 propeller is much longer and the B-24 propeller is much shorter and fatter. So after a bunch of research, I found out that the kit part, the one on the left, is inaccurate. And to fix it, you would have to cut down the sides and uh, lengthen it by adding styrene in the middle. And I didn't really think it was worth my time, so I just thought I would get the B-17 propellers, which after a couple of modifications will fit into the hub. So the first of those modifications is, as we just did, cutting off the paddles and then drilling into the hole. So now I brought it, the camera to the vise, and I'm just going to put this hub in the vise, and then I'm going to drill with a wide enough drill bit for the bottom of the B-17 paddles. So just trying to find the middle of the area so that it's mostly centered. It's alright if it's not perfect. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm going to repeat this process for the other two sides and I'll come back. So now that I drilled out in the three holes, I'm ready to glue the propellers into the hub. So this can be done in a couple ways. And since I'm making my bomber crashed, I decided to make an engine fire. So usually when there was an engine fire and an engine was damaged or knocked out, the pilot would tell the engineer, the flight engineer, to feather the propeller, which basically means uh, turn it from being flat like this to almost straight vertical to reduce drag and make the plane go faster since it's no longer running on that engine. It's basically just um, wasted metal and space and drag. So this is going to be feathered, so making it seem like the crew feathered it just before they crash or an attempt to um, to pull up from the ground. So this is sort of like a guide. And then this one, this is a regular propeller. It was running when it went down. I still have to do um, bending it around the middle section and that will be a separate video. All right, so first I'm just going to basically get it in the right direction. It doesn't have to be exact yet. And then I'm going to take some Tamiya Extra Thin Cement and put it on the base of the hub 
mounting area. So just make sure it gets a good amount of glue. Then the next one. And then the last one. And since these holes are not exactly the right size and they're not exactly in the middle, um, they have the propellers have to be pr positioned properly. So to get a basic idea of what that means, I'm trying to have the trailing edge, which is this edge right here, touching the table. So right here. So as long as I have all three trailing edges of all three um, propellers, parts, paddles, touching the table, then they should all be about at about the exact same angle. So next I'm going to take a ruler or something similar and measure one side. So I've done previous and I found that three and three quarters of an inch works almost perfectly. So I make sure that each line is lined up or each paddle is lined up. So three and a quarter. And then moving on to right over here, just making sure it's three and a quarter just to make sure they're exactly lined up. So this is slightly too big. So I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit. So that is basically almost perfect. So now I can add a little bit more to me extra thin cement, right where the paddle and the hub meet. And then taking some uh, liquid super glue, turning it around putting it in here, just a generous amount so that it gets into all three paddle connection areas. And then we can hold it up, just check vaguely to see does it make a Y. And then we, if you want to, you can check again the three and a quarter inches. And this one's actually falling out a slight amount. so. Three and a quarter, three and a quarter. So this is almost perfect. Now we're just gonna put it on the ground one last time. And we can see that one of the paddles um, fell slit amount. So you're just putting it on the table. And now we just wait for it to dry. So when it dries, I will come back. Now I'm done with the propeller and I waited a day for all the glue and everything to set and it's much nicer than it was before and I really like this modification and I would recommend it to anyone who's building the B-24 and one thirty seven scale. So I corrected the shape a slight amount and this is basically all you need to do and just for reference here's the kit propeller on the right and the modified propeller on the left and there is a large difference. So I'm really glad I did this modification. Was it not very hard at all? And like I said, I recommend just anyone building this kit. Thank you very much for watching. I will probably do a separate video on how to damage these propellers shortly. Thank you.